But uh, joining us now is Sky Racing's Lizzie Jelfs. Welcome, Lizzie. We're taking a look today at the powerful Chris Lee stable in Newcastle in her time. Now, we know she has a slot. What are your thoughts on her? Um, Chris Lees has got a, a reasonably strong hand in the Everest this year. I'm loving her time. She's um, a lovely mare. She's always very consistent in her performance and in her preparation. We've seen her obviously gradually improving. So I'm looking forward to seeing her at the races and seeing how much uh, more improvement she will make. Um, she's generally a really good fresh horse. And um, the Everest is a really tough race this year, well, potentially a really tough race this year. So she's going to certainly have to bring her a career best to be able to win the Everest but uh, she certainly will be very competitive in the lead-ups and that's probably where I'll be more focused on in her time. Whereas Graf, he's quite exciting. Um, obviously, he's a horse that uh, is got... A lot of improvement from each preparation to the next. He's one of those horses that really improves maturity-wise through the uh, spring and certainly through his winter months. So looking forward to seeing where he kicks off and, and how much he improves because um, he could definitely be a potential Everest horse and um, looking forward to seeing. He's a real sprinter. The way I describe him is he's very similar to Red Zell. He's just built for speed. He's got power all over him. His strong hind quarters, big shoulders, and he's got that really big uh, midsection where his lungs and heart are. So, um, look, he's, a, he's an exciting uh, contender, potentially, uh, but in her time, is, she's just the really misconsistent. Lizzie, how are conditions looking out there today? It's a little bit windy. We've had a little <laughs> bit of rain. How's the track faring? Yeah, well, you can't tell it's windy, can you? No, look, it's, it is pretty windy out here. We've had um, a lot of rain everywhere in Sydney, in the metropolitan area over the last couple of days. And uh, unfortunately, we're on a heavy nine, which is unfortunate for this meeting. And the feature race, the San Domenico Stakes, has been taken away slightly due to a wet track. We don't have dubious. We also won't see yes, yes, yes. But we do see the return of a very, very exciting horse, Exceedance, which um, I'm so excited excited to see. I think he's one of the potentially best horses going around at the moment and uh, he's up against a horse Bivouac from the Godolphin stable who has been electric in his first up run and uh, he's run sizzling time so he's got a very short quote today so I think it's a bit of a match race. Maybe not as cold but uh, a little bit of the weather you're experiencing at the moment takes you back to Oxford where you grew up as a, as a young girl because <laughs> it's pretty windy and pretty wet but that's where you fell in love with horses, that's where you fell in love with the shape of horses and look last week you have been the talk of the racing world because you picked Sam Adel. Let's go back to Lizzie Jelfs last Saturday. I wish I would have listened. <laughs> Watch this. I think pick of the yard, I'm, I'm going a, a bit wide in this. I'm going to go with Sam Adapt because he just looks ready to go. He's really fit, he's really healthy, should get a nice run on speed because all the others are very similar in appearance. Avilius gets a big tip, Happy Clapper paraded nicely enough. Um, of the others, I thought Very Elegant also paraded well. So Sam Adapt at the each way odds, I thought he paraded just as well as those uh, Group 1 performers. Happy Clapper is grinding, Sam Adapt a big leader from Happy Clapper, Invincible Gem and Avilius, Sam Adapt still in front. 50 out, Sam it out, Sam it out, course of the boil over, leads all the way on the wing stakes. Look at the grin on her face. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the pen and the paper at the ready. Tell us, Lizzie, have we got any tips today out there? Yeah, oh, look, I do, uh, there'll probably be some big price winners today, but they're going to be a lot harder to find due to the track conditions. You can be really confident on good tracks and, and certainly tracks that um, aren't rain affected. But when you get a heavy track, it can make it a little bit difficult. But um, you have to tune in, Julie, and, and listen to uh, Sky Thoroughbred Central or Sky Racing Active, and I'll give you the late mail throughout the day. Always watching, Lizzie, always watching. Just quickly, one more question. Um, we do have four slots remaining at this stage. Who's really caught your eye? If, if you had a slot in this Everest race, who would you be looking to? Uh, really good question because there is... Uh, there's, it's a bit difficult to answer at this stage, but of course you couldn't be more impressed with Libertini, who will get the 51 kilos if she's able to get a slot. And I'd love to see Rachel King aboard her as well, a lightweight jockey, female, be the first female to ride in the Everest. I know we've only had a couple of uh, years of the Everest, but uh, certainly would be really keen to see Libertini in the race. And if I was going for something that hasn't raced yet, who I've been so impressed with at the trials, um, it would have to be Nature Strip. He is is 
absolutely flying and we've always thought of him as a much more short course horse, a horse that gets over only maybe 1,000 to 1,100 metres. But what the Chris Wallace stable and James McDonald have been able to do with him so far this preparation is to see him settle. And if he settles and he runs out a strong 1,200, then look out, boy, he will be certainly right in the finish. Yeah, Chris, I was chatting with him during the week, very... Very happy with Nature Strip and Rachel King, of course. We saw her get her first Group 1 in uh, Maid of Heaven. So this would just be an extraordinary, extraordinary tale if she got a ride in the Everest. The fellow girl from Oxford, of course, where you grew up. Thanks, Lizzie. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks, Lizzie. Stay dry. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.